Hey guys, in my this video, I'm going to show you how to fix hardware reserve memory problem. And uh, if you're not uh, aware of this problem, I would suggest you to check this once. And uh, if uh, you are facing the problem, uh, you can solve this uh, in, a, in a very few steps. It is very easy to get rid of this problem. And I will show you uh, about which problem I'm talking about. Uh, if I go to my task manager and uh, in the performance tab, uh, if I check, click on memory, you can see here I have uh, 8 gigs of RAM installed on my system but only 6.5 GB of RAM is available for the system and for my applications. So where the half, 1.5 gigs of RAM gone? Uh, here also you can see uh, 2.3 GB of RAM in use and only 4.1 GB of RAM available and uh, the sum of these two uh, makes up uh, near about 6.5 GB of RAM. So again uh, half uh, uh, one and a half gigs of RAM is missing and uh, if you take a closer look you can see that uh, the one and a half GB of RAM is hardware reserved uh, I don't know the concept behind the hardware reserved but uh, you should check your system and if you're facing uh, the same problem uh, if your hardware reserved uh, hardware reserved memory is more than 100 uh, or 100 150 MB so you can uh, uh, get rid of this problem and in this video i'm going to show you how to solve this problem and get maximum uh, amount of ram for your own purposes and your applications so you need to run the open uh, uh, need to open the run dialog uh, so click window and r button uh, you can also open by going to all programs and then finding the run program here you need to type ms config m s c o n f i g and hit enter and this will open a system configuration window here navigate to the boot uh, tab and uh, click on advanced options here you need to just uh, make few changes you need to uncheck these these two boxes uh, the first one is maximum memory uh, uncheck it and then uh, uncheck uh, this uh, this checkbox number of processors processors and click uh, ok uh, again click uh, apply and ok uh, so now you need to restart your system in order to make the changes uh, permanent or make them implemented so I will restart the system and log in back to my system to check whether the problem has been solved or not so guys uh, I'm back here and uh, I have restarted my system and now check whether that uh, the hardware uh, memory problem is gone or not so if I go to my task manager again and in the performance tab in the memory section and now you can see i have uh, 8 gigs of total ram and out of which uh, 7.9 gb of ram is uh, available for use and uh, the hardware z memory uh, which was uh, one and half gb is now reduced to only 94.1 mb and uh, a lot more ram is now available for you and uh, and your, your applications and so uh, this uh, whole uh, video is uh, uh, about uh, windows 10 but uh, this will work the same way on windows 8 8.1 or uh, windows 7 so if you have this problem or you can easily solve by uh, following just few simple steps and uh, if you like my this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and i will see you guys in my next video thank you